we suspended Monday's seat at home order. This is coming from IPOB. The indigenous people of Biafra has explained why it suspended the weekly seat at home order in the southeast state, which it earlier instructed. The secessionist group had announced a total lockdown of social and economic activities every Monday starting from August 9 in the southeast region of the country. According to the group, the seat at home protests had been planned to be observed weekly to demand the freedom of its incarcerated leader, Nandi Kanu, who has been in the custody of the Department of State Services for over a month now. However, speaking on Radio Biafra, IPOP executive Chika, sorry, Chika Edoze announced the suspension of the action. Edoze said the seat at home would be declared whenever Kanu would be making appearance in court and not every Monday as earlier directed. Reacting, the group's media and public city secretary, Ima Powerful, explained that the suspension was directed from the leader, Kano. He said the group had taken into cognizance the concerns expressed by Biafrans all over the world over the suspension of the sit at home directive. He, however, stated that should there be another directive from the group's highest command requiring a rich activation of the suspended weekly sit at home, there will be no delay to lift the suspension. The statement reads The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP understands the concerns being expressed by the global IPOP family on the suspension of the weekly sit at home earlier announced by the IPOP head of directorate of state of the indigenous people of Biafra. We know that our people embrace this civil action wholeheartedly and without any complaint, the leadership sincerely appreciates the inanate desire of Biafrans to sacrifice their time, resources, and energy in ensuring that our leader, Mazin Nandikano, is released unconditionally from the legal custody of the Nigerian state who criminally gave him away from Kenya to Nigeria. The suspension of the sit at home by the IPOP head of directorate was as a result of a direct a directive order from the leader of this great movement, Nandekano. There is no gain saying the fact that one of the major fundamental guiding principles of IPOP is command and can control. This simply, this simply means that all commands from the supreme leader of IPOP will be obeyed and implemented to the letter by the Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOP. Bearing in mind, therefore, that this simple principle has enabled this movement to suppress even the expectations of both Bia friends and not Bia friends alike. The leadership wishes to encourage Bia friend to focus on the most pressing issue confronting this great family presently, which is ensuring the safety of our leader while stay in the illegal custody of the DSS and to secure his unconditional release from detention. In accordance with the directive from our leader, our seat at home will be sorry, our seat at home will in the meantime will be observed in the date of our leader's court appearances. The IPOB leadership urges Bia friends worldwide to take note of the next court appearance of our leader, which is the twenty-first of october twenty twenty-one. Any other information regarding sit at home other in Biafra land not emanating from IPOP through our main channels of information dissemination should be disregarded. The Nigerian government should heed now to the voice of reason 
coming from within Nigeria and from outside the shores of Nigeria to unconditionally free our leader, Marzi Ndamikanu, and announce a date for Biafra referendum when our people will choose where they wish to belong before it is too late. It said, Destination is freedom for Biafra people. Finally, finally, then go soon realize that Biafra is fake. Big lie, all Easterners should ignore this seat at all. Please, let's work together as a team. Marzi Nadekano, the chief controller of South East, this and Nigerians reacting. Hmm. See, Aboki is now out from their IDP camp commenting. Why no more say to Sahara reporters? Come and tell your followers personally in the comment section. Oh, they say the team must hold. Oh, if they keep sitting at home, they are the ones that will lose. Please, why can't you sit till the end of your lifetime? All right, someone said this is fake news and fake information. No, <laughs> mad person. It's not a fake news. Sit at home, we kill you there. Nigerians are reacting. Bandits, Boko Haram, and Iswap language teaching is poor for the northerners to understand. I am appealing to Bandit, Boko Haram, and Iswap to teach the northerners street language that will make their regions return back to their empty desert for commenting on Biafra land. Someone just dropped that. The time will come when Abuja will return to his former glory. The desert. The time will come when there will be a border checkpoint between Biafra land and the Nigeria. The time will come when the Nigerian president will come as a foreign delegate to Biafra land. The time will come when the Biafra land will be no longer be borne by front-length military documents made up of the decrees that would create by past military government of northern dissidents disguised as a constitution. So guys, I'm going to drop it here. As you can see, confusion everywhere. Uh, <laughs> some iPod followers are saying that they will continue to sit at home until their leader is released from the custody of DSS. So guys, when I don't see confusion for you, so I better make a drop on for you. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.